Welcome to the Courtyard by Marriott SeaTac Airport. This is on International Drive, and that's important because the shuttle driver, if you're coming from the airport, will ask you to prove you know the address. <laughs> so that was interesting. We got a people here, and it's covered, which I appreciate. But you can take a look there to see who's all knocking. And there's a cover there, so you don't get too much light coming in. And look at this. We've got a Do Not Disturb sign, which I greatly appreciate. Some hotels are doing away with theirs. I'm glad these guys aren't. And you've got your deadbolt and secondary lock mechanism for extra safety and behind this barn door here is the bathroom let's go take a look here a little art there got a standard toilet nothing too fancy got your toilet paper got some towels and of course the this is becoming standard in hotels too please hang to reuse and drop it on the floor if you want to replace it if you're staying more than one night a little trash receptacle there. And the bathroom is an interesting place to put the coffee maker and it's accoutrements, but there you have it. And up here we have the Kleenex and a makeup remover wipe. And that's a nice touch. I mean, as a guy who doesn't wear makeup, it doesn't affect me personally, but I still can appreciate it. Got a couple power outlets there. And we have possibly the least fancy cleansing bar I've ever seen. Bar of soap since like Motel 6, but who cares? It's just a bar of soap, it's no big you got a nice faucet there though, and that's nice and clean. And you got a uh, little towel over there, and more teepee and towels there. All right, and here we have the shower. Let's go check this out. Nice glass door there. This is kind of an interesting setup. So you've got the shower head over here, and let's take a quick look at that. It could be cleaner, but it's not too bad. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's fine, I would have no problem showering. And so you've got some products here. Uh, it's a little hard to read. That says body wash, conditioner, and shampoo. North 39 degrees or 39 degrees north. I'm not sure how you say that brand name. I'm unfamiliar with it. And the interesting thing is here we have the control for that. So that's kind of interesting. So this is the unmovable part of the glass. And so you can kind of reach in and control it here and then it'll come out there. So you're not trying to reach and then just get splashed by potentially cold water or maybe something that's too hot. A uh, little grab bar, interestingly placed there rather than sort of more centrally. Uh, so I do appreciate grab bar. I don't know that's the best spot for it, but okie doke. And an interesting sort of a ledge here, sort of a shelf and a towel there. That is probably the towel that you would put on the floor uh, so you don't get water everywhere. And so that's all pretty good. Tiny little bit of cleanliness issues here and there, but really super minor. And if you were thinking, oh no, there's no hair dryer when I was looking at the uh, sink counter, there in fact is. All right, so let's go check out the rest of the room. So we've got a full length mirror here and let's check out the other side of this barn door. What's behind barn door number only because <laughs> there's only one. And so we have a safe here. And so it's a three to six digit code to lock that. In case you want to secure belongings, you've got an iron and an ironing board, and you've got a little wooden thing for your luggage. It's shown some wear and tear, but that is for luggage, and so wear and tear is to be expected. That is where you would be okay with it. You don't want it on the walls, and the walls seem mostly okay. Little dings here and there. That's just from standard use, I'd say. And you get some hangers and a bag, presumably for dry cleaning laundry stuff. All right, and we have our control for the air conditioner here. So the default setting was 70 degrees Fahrenheit when I came in. And uh, here is one side of the bed where you have a USB power supply, DC 5 volt, 2000 milliamps, and a 3.2 amp, 120, 60 hertz, three prong outlet. Do you care about all those details? I don't know. Let's pop on that light and we can actually see it. Um, I do like outlets like this having this available, particularly USB if you're coming from abroad, it is universal, that's the U, uh, so you don't have to worry about converters and adapters and things, and so that's nice, and the three prong is also very useful. Having it up here, rather than say closer to your devices, you're gonna want to have a longer charging cord, um, or you might be kind of like, I don't know, are you, are you supposed to like put your phone up there maybe and like place that, I don't know. Um, but still, I appreciate the bedside power. Uh, and there is actually a three-prong outlet down there as well that appears to be available. And so we've got a pen and a little scratch pad. We've got the phone there. We've got a drawer, empty drawer there. I mean, it, it looks like that's ready to spring off, uh, but it's got that thing there, so it's probably fine. So you get four pillows on the bed here. And uh, there's the TV, and hey, 
It has my name. That's kind of fancy. And I'm actually here as a distressed traveler with Alaska Airlines. We had some issues, and so Alaska is actually paying for this uh, because <laughs> my travel plans got foobar due to baggage handlers. Got a microwave here with the clock on it. And we've got some more drawers. I suspect they'll be mostly empty. I kind of like this, this fixture. I'm so used to Hilton properties that things that look even a little bit different, um, you know, it's kind of, this is, this is like, this is a taller fridge than I'm used to. It's pretty, pretty big, a little bit bigger than a bar fridge, not a full fridge, of course. And then it's got like a, a freezer section there. Check that out. Hmm. That's kind of nice. I like that. All right. And moving right along, we got a couple of glasses. I like these glasses. These are nice glasses. Uh, waste receptacle there, and I think, uh, I don't know if you can see it very well, someone left some waste behind. <laughs> All right, and so this is an ice bucket with a bin liner, so you can put the ice in that, or you can put the ice in and then put that to protect the thing that you want to put inside. Whatever works for you. It's got an interesting texture on it. It's kind of nice. It's like leather. All right, and so of course, you know, little promotional stuff there little mirror at the desk and a table and a lamp and under the lamp we've got two more usbs and two more three prongs so that's pretty good we're probably not going to need our tron power cube at this location coming over here to this bedside let's turn the light on first this time got the usb and the three prong once again so again decent amount of power you've got an alarm clock there and so you've got the phone on one side the alarm clock on the other and one more drawer there's the Oh, interesting. There is a Gideon Bible and also the Book of Mormon. So it's a little bit uh, more than what we normally see. And so we have an ottoman here with a chair. Now, this is particularly interesting. It looks like they put the air conditioner slash heating unit uh, in this protective sort of thing. And I have to say, I would be tempted to put like luggage up there. Uh, but I've got that other rack, so I'm probably going to avoid doing that because it's nice. I don't want to you know, damage that. Um, but that's interesting uh, that they've done that. And so um, you might use that space to maybe put clothes or food or I don't know, whatever you might be traveling with to stay organized, your purchases, if you're on a shopping trip, for example. Um, but you might just want to be sensitive to the fact that it's right on top of something that might be kicking out heat or cool air, depending on the time of year. And so here we have the big window here. And so presumably these gray things will drop down as, yeah, that's going to be your blackout curtains, which, oh, I appreciate so much. Wow, they go down really easily, but they don't go back up easy. Uh, okay, that's, huh. Oh, you really got to pull that. You got to want it. Okay, that's interesting. And so this is more of the privacy screen. So you'll see we're still getting some light through there. Um, but, uh, you know, so you can get some light coming in, but people couldn't, like, with a telephoto lens, take inappropriate pictures or videos of you. And so let's check out the view. So we've got a container. <laughs> Uh, and I don't know how well this is going to show, but there is uh, dumpsters <laughs> and also parking and a loft, which looks like another hotel just across the way there. So, you know, it's a, it's an airport uh, hotel, so uh, you don't generally stay in these places for the view. But um, yeah, so let us know in the comments if you stayed here before for a place where they're sending a distressed traveler at no expense to me because the airline really screwed up. Uh, this is pretty nice. Like, I, I appreciate the fact that they're not just getting like the cheapest thing that they could possibly do. They actually, you know, um, they gave us a selection of three different hotels to choose from. We like the sound of this one best. And I think our instincts served us well. Sometimes, uh, you know, judging a book by a cover isn't completely misleading because you still have the information of the cover. So there you have it. Let me know in the comments. Would you stay here? Would you stay here as a distressed traveler? How much would you be willing to pay for one night at this location? I'd be curious to know because I have no idea what it costs as I'm not paying for it today. Thank you so much for watching and uh, give it a like if you found this video helpful at all and it'll help other people discover it. And stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to watch all of our other videos, including tip videos about how to save money so you can travel more. Thanks for watching.